Hello and welcome to this travel vlog. Me and my boyfriend are traveling around the Balkans for two weeks and in this video you'll get to join us to Belgrade, the capital city of Serbia. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this travel vlog. Yesterday evening me and my boyfriend arrived to Belgrade. We took an eight hour long bus trip from Sarajevo and the bus trip wasn't very comfortable because I've been suffering from a bit of a food poisoning since yesterday morning. I'm not feeling completely like myself yet but at the moment at least I am feeling a little little bit better. I had enough energy to take a shower and I managed to eat a banana so that's a that's a good sign so hopefully I'll start slowly feeling better we have a little apartment here where we're staying now our plan is to go and visit the Nikola Tesla museum it seems like you can only enter with a guided tour and there are only a limited amount of tours and a limited amount of people that they take in a tour so the next tour won't be until in 40 minutes so we're now sitting here by the steps waiting for that traveling is a good way of practicing patience sometimes. In the museum we got to learn about Nikola Tesla's life and his inventions. The museum is not very big but thanks to the guided tour I think it is worth visiting. Hold it at the bottom and you want to hold it high. This one is 500,000 volts and this one is 120,000 volts. So light bulb over here and it lights up. <laughs> yeah. The battery you have, the battery tingles. Yeah, it does a bit. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Here you can see the urn where Nikola Tesla's ashes are. Weird to think that the man who invented so much is now physically in this little ball here. So we went to the museum and I was feeling fine and then I did this really stupid mistake. I went to a restaurant and I was feeling pretty okay and I even had a bit of an appetite and was feeling hungry. So I ordered some soup but the soup was much like heavier and creamier than I was expecting. I didn't eat super much of it, maybe half, but yeah, I started feeling really nauseous uh, after eating that and we had to come back home. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna accept the defeat of today that maybe my body needs a day of rest. Hopefully I would feel better tomorrow. I'm sorry this vlog doesn't have a very <laughs> exciting beginning to it, but yeah, I want to share what traveling is really like sometimes times and sometimes it means that you have food poisoning and you're lying in bed all day somewhere in Serbia. See you tomorrow and hopefully, hopefully I will be feeling better. Good morning. I am feeling slightly better today but I am gonna be a bit careful and probably not eat anything from a restaurant or anything so I won't start feeling bad again. Just gonna stay on a banana diet. <laughs> it's really funny, my boyfriend thought he bought uh, yogurt, <laughs> but he accidentally bought just sour cream and now he's eating it because he's really hungry. <laughs> he doesn't have anything else, but I've never seen anyone just eat sour cream like this. <laughs> This day we kind of just spent aimlessly wandering around as I still felt like I needed to take it a bit easy. First we saw this really cool looking Orthodox Christian church. We then stumbled upon this famous street called Skardarlia. I'm sorry, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. But this street is apparently hustling and bustling during the evening times. However now it was pretty quiet there. It's a bit of a grey day and stuff, so there's not very much people around. It feels a bit like a ghost town. This 
this is another very famous street in Belgrade, a place where you can find a bunch of cute shops and we for example visited this really pretty bookshop. Currently we are here by the Belgrade Fortress. The Belgrade Fortress consists of two different parts, the old citadel and the Kale Magdan Park. From the fortress there is some beautiful viewpoints where you can see over two rivers coming together, the Sava and Danube River. The area is completely free to visit and a nice place where to roam around. We decided to escape the rain for a little bit and we came to the Historical Museum of Serbia and hopefully we'll get to learn a little bit about yeah, the history of this country. In the History Museum we got to learn about, well, you guessed it, the history of Serbia. The museum was okay, but maybe not the best we've been to. Unfortunately, also a part of it was under renovation, so it was quite small. We are back at the apartment, and as I do need to eat a bit carefully, <laughs> my tonight's dinner is not looking very <laughs> exciting. White toast with egg and banana. Not maybe the amazing cultural food experience that I was expecting to have here in Serbia, but better than nothing, right? Good morning. Today I am feeling already much, much better. Yesterday, even if I was feeling like physically a bit better, I must say I was like mentally not really there. Like I feel like I had a bit of like brain fog. The food poisoning had also gotten me into a bit of this like negative headspace. But today I'm also feeling mentally much better and I'm in a good mood again and I'm starting to feel like myself. Our first activity for today is that we're gonna go on a walking tour that should take like two to three hours. It's a like a free walking tour, but you are supposed to tip at the end. Right now we need to start heading towards the meeting point. During the walking tour, we walked around a lot of the same places as the day before, but this time it was much more enjoyable as we got to learn about these places and also the weather was much better and less gray. We also got to discover some new spots that we hadn't seen before. The tour and our guide was really good. We went with a company called Free Belgrade Walking Tours and I would highly recommend them. So for the first time here in Serbia, I feel like I can eat something a bit more proper and traditional. So I got this local salad. It's a bit like their version of a Greek salad. Uh, it has like cheese that's similar to feta cheese on top and then yeah, a bunch of vegetables. And then I also got potatoes with cream cheese. I didn't order super much because I still need to be a little bit careful. My boyfriend ordered some sausages and they also look pretty good. Tastes like a Greek salad, but without the olives, and I don't like olives, so for me that's perfect. We just had some traditional Serbian lunch, which was really good, and now next we are going on the communist tour. And yeah, I'm really excited. I must say, today. My picture of Belgrade has been much better because the sky is more clear, my head is more clear. We've definitely been enjoying this day more than we did yesterday, which is, which is great. We'll be now doing something called the communist tour and well, as the name suggests, we'll be learning about the communist times of Serbia and this one is a paid tour, it costs 15 euros. I think it took approximately around three-ish hours, four hours. The communist tour was done by the same company as the free walking tour that we took earlier. It was a really interesting and we got to learn so much.
The main thing that we visited was the Museum of Yugoslavia, which you can also visit by yourself if you want to. But I do think without the tour we wouldn't have gotten out of it nearly as much as we did now. What makes this museum special is that it's where you can find Tito's final resting place, who was the former leader of Yugoslavia. The tour then ends by these house ruins, which are left from when NATO bombarded Belgrade in 1999. We have just finished the communism tour and it was very interesting, but after two tours now today, we feel like we have been <laughs> quite bombarded with information. We still have one more thing that we really want to see today and that is the Saint Church of Sava and where the tour ended is supposedly quite close by the church so we might as well walk there now and check it out as it's supposed to be like one of the main attractions the most beautiful attractions to see here apparently I said it wrong it is the Church of Saint Sava not I don't know what I said Saint Sava of the church I don't know but like said we're starting to be pretty tired Today is our last morning here in Belgrade and we've just been cleaning up the apartment that we're staying in and I thought I'll give you guys a little tour of it because I didn't do that earlier. Honestly I feel like I have no idea what this vlog is like because usually I have like a bit of a picture in my head of what I'm gonna film and what the vlog is gonna be like and what it's gonna contain and so on but because I was sick for quite a bit and stuff I've just filmed very randomly and we haven't done all the things we were planning to do and yeah it's been all over the place a little bit but I hope you have still enjoyed it nevertheless but yeah let me give you guys a tour of the apartment so here you can see our little bedroom for some reason there's a lot of little prints related things <laughs> And then there are also these kind of creepy, what are these called? Like posters on the wall. <laughs> I'm not sure what they are, but it's definitely an interesting choice of a decoration. And then over here is like our kitchen area. There's not really like a living room area or anything, but there's a stove and there was actually even a washing machine. And we have a little table over here. Over here, there's a little balcony. We haven't honestly really spent time on the balcony. And then here is like where you come in. So there's a separate shower, whoa, a separate room for shower and then the toilet. So yeah, it's nothing special, but it's been comfortable staying here for the past few days. Soon we are gonna start heading towards the bus station and then we are headed to our last stop of this trip although we'll also do like a day trip from there but it's like the last place where we'll stay overnight and that is Zagreb so we are going back to Croatia it's supposed to be like a five hour bus drive and we're going with Flixbus actually hello from the future editing Janika I just wanted to pop in quickly and tell you guys a little story time from when we were at the Belgrade bus station because it was a stressful experience. Getting to the bus platform was more tricky than what we had expected. What we didn't know beforehand is that you actually had to pay in order to be allowed to enter the bus platform. Like we had already booked the bus in advance and paid for that, but we didn't realize you needed to pay an extra separate fee for entering the platform from where the bus leaves. So yeah, we are there standing in a queue trying to buy a ticket for this and we are told that you 
can't pay with card, they don't accept foreign cards, that you have to pay with cash. But because we were leaving Serbia, we've already by then gotten rid of all the cash that we have. So they tell us that there is an ATM that we can use. So we run to the ATM and the ATM is out of service. So we're like, what are we supposed to do? We can't pay for the entrance, we can see our bus, but we are not allowed to enter to the platforms where the bus leaves from. And I'm sorry, but I think this is a very, very stupid system. Like why not just, I don't know, include the price in the price of the bus or something. And I was looking on Google Maps and the closest ATM was nowhere nearby even. And our bus was leaving in like 10, 15 minutes. And we were like, what are we gonna do? So I then do realize I do have cash, but in euros. And by this bus station, I remember seeing a money exchange point. So then luckily we are able to exchange the 10 euros cash. We were almost about to miss our bus. And then once we were in the bus and about to leave, this was really sad and quite shocking. The last thing that we see right by the bus, like five meters from the bus, is a dead bus. Body. It was like covered and there was police around it and stuff, but yeah. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, remember to hit that subscribe button. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye!